Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a fantastic attacking game played by the 15th world chess champion Vishwanathan Anand. His opponent is Azerbaijani chess grandmaster Temur Rajabov and the game was played in 2002 at Dubai Grand Prix. Rajabov with white pieces opened up with d4 to which Anand responded with knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, b6. We have the Queen's Indian defense against which White is choosing the Petroisan variation. With this prophylactic move, White is preventing Bishop b4 jump, and this is a move which Gary Kasparov loved to play in the beginning of his career. Bishop b7, knight c3, d5, c takes d5, knight takes d5, queen c2, after which we see the exchange of knights on c3, knight d7, and White is establishing a massive pawn center by going for e4. Bishop e7, bishop d3, and Blake is undermining white center by playing c5. Here both players castled kingside, bishop b2, rook c8, queen e2, and c4. At the cost of allowing white to get a bishop pair, Blake is tactically removing white's central pawn. Bishop takes c4, uh, of course bishop c2 is also worth of taking into consideration. But White decided to proceed with bishop takes c4 and using the vulnerability of the bishop on c4 where bishop takes e4 thus black is getting rid of White's central pawn. Now if queen takes e4 then rook takes c4 that's why White decided to keep alive his bishop pair and first attacked black rook on c8 and in order not to lose a piece for an exchange Anand played bishop takes f3. Queen takes f3, rook c7, rook d1, bishop d6, bishop d3. Well, not the best continuation. By putting the bishop on d3, white is looking for a kingside attack, but it was better to play a4, preventing b5 move. But in our game, we have bishop d3, and relying on the vulnerability of the b file, black went for b5. An important strategic move, black takes the light squares under control and prepares the maneuver knight b6 from where the knight can jump off on c4 or on d5. If black can bring into life this idea, then white's c3 and a3 pawns will become weak. Rook e1. Well, bishop takes b5 is not good because this can be met with queen b8. And now if you support your bishop by going for a4 or c4, then black has this a6 move, and now if bishop takes d7, then rook takes d7. And we have two nice targets. That's why in our game after b5 we have rook e1 and a6. Black is first strengthening the pawn on a6, and then can proceed with his knight maneuver, but... In here, Rajabov came up with a bold decision and decided to go for a pawn sacrifice, but instead it was better to play d5, after which black can choose between e5 or knight c5. But in our game we have a4 and b takes a4. Suddenly black got two passed pawns on the a file, right? The pawns are doubled, but Anand will find a way to make use of them. c4. Queen b8, bishop a1, rook d8. Well, in here it was better to play bishop b4. And the problem with rook d8 is that now by playing c5, white could create some problems for black. And then rook b1. But instead after rook d8, we see rook e4. White is proceeding with a kingside attack, but... Once Blake is managing to neutralize white's attack, white pieces will find themselves misplaced. As I've already mentioned, c5 was better, but we have rook e4 and knight f6, rook h4, bishop e7, rook h3 and h6, preventing any possible ideas, starting with bishop takes h7 and then queen h5. Here we have h6 and rook b1, which turns out to be a mistake and is allowing black to 
pull out a brilliant combination. At this point it was better to play c5, despite the fact that white is surrendering d5 square. By playing c5 white is neutralizing black's dark squared bishop and is opening up his light squared bishop's path. But in our game after h6 we have rook b1 which stepped into a devastating combination. Right now the queen on b8 is hanging but instead of moving it away Anand went for rook takes c4. Black's idea is simple, if bishop takes c4 then the rook is no longer protected and black can win it. And at this point already all white can do is to accept the queen sacrifice, otherwise white's position is totally lost. But even this can't help white. There is a back rank weakness and relying on that fact and on the power of this pawn on a4, Black will now realize his advantage, bishop f1 and rook takes b8. Right now the bishop on a1 is hanging and the second rook also wants to penetrate white's camp. The queen and the rook are offside and this is something which is becoming a huge problem for white. Bishop c3 and there comes the rook, rook b1, queen d3, a3, there we have it guys. This key pawn is deciding the game. Queen takes a6, but who cares about that pawn? a2. Right now, black has a very devastating rook takes f1 threat. Also, knight d4, knight d5 can be nice threats. And we can see that white is like in a position of Tsuktsavang, you know. Here, Rajavov made a desperate move, played g4, opened up a loop for his king. Also, with this move, he's keeping the third rank free for the rook. But it turns out that there is no way to stop Black's aggression and in here Anand landed a heavy punch by going for rook takes f1. Look at this beauty guys! Queen takes f1, well if king g2 then again this can't help white. Black can quickly finish up white. Now if king e2 then rook takes c3 is coming, a beautiful move, right? And then Rook takes h3. The game is over, there is not much you can do against two aggressive black rooks and against two extra pieces. In our game after rook f1 check we have queen takes f1 and knight e4. Black wants to get rid of the defender and go for a pawn promotion. Also knight d2 can be a nice threat. White played bishop a1 but after knight d2 resigned, yes. Black is winning white queen and the game as well, that's why resignation followed. A very, very impressive combination by the legend Vishwanathan Anand, which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. In the end, let me also sharpen your tactical skills with a simple chess puzzle. Please take a look at this position and try to find the mating line for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video, take care.